A lot of people are angry and upset with Nicole Scherzinger. And I figured let's talk about it because the Mask Singer family, our community here online, they all feel hurt and they're kind of angry with her. So let's talk about exactly what happened. First and foremost, it's been a week since we made another video about the Masked Singer, mostly because we really don't have any information coming out. There have been some leaks and some other things, but to be honest with you, it's kind of been nice not making a daily video. Uh, kind of relax a little bit, even though I'm still making many videos on my other YouTube channels and on TikTok, we're still doing like 16 videos a day. I know it's kind of crazy, but you may have noticed that Nicole has been in the news. And it's not because of the Broadway show, it's not because she's not doing the next season of The Masked Singer, but it's because she's doing a different reality television show. And it's a talent show. And so a lot of Masked Singer fans are getting angry because when it was first announced last season, the season before technically, because it was about a year ago, that Nicole would not be returning, it was because she was doing a show on the East End, which is like or the West End, which is the Broadway of the UK. And everyone was happy for her. You know, a lot of kind of played into this. One was the fact that the writer's strike was going on. We didn't know if we would have another season of The Masked Singer. They were trying to film as many seasons as possible. So last summer you saw that we had two seasons filmed back to back. It started in July. They filmed season one, then the next, or season technically, is that 10? Then they filmed season 11 two weeks after that, but because of scheduling conflicts. Nicole had already been scheduled to be on the West End and so she couldn't do it and it was understandable so we got Rita and we all love Rita because she's fantastic. She's already been on the Masked Singer UK. She's also worked with Ken before so their chemistry was really really good. We saw that season. It was a fun season last year but now we're getting into the point to where the next season's coming. We found out that Rita Ora will be coming back again and Nicole would not be because her Broadway show is now making her way from the West End all the way to New York City. Previews start in September. They start rehearsing in August. And so, you know, even though they already filmed this upcoming season, which I don't want to spoil if you don't know that. Yes, it's all filmed already. They're already editing it together. They started, they started filming, gosh, a month ago-ish now. And so... Nicole, we're like, wait a minute, if she, if the West End is done and her show doesn't start, or at least previews until September, that would have meant that she was able to do The Masked Singer, right? Well, while that may have made sense, turns out she's doing another reality television show. And this was released a few days ago. There's a couple of news sources talking about it. The one I got it from was from the Daily Mail. She's doing a talent show that's called Building the Band, which kind of sounds like X Factor in the olden days, right? Or Making the Band, some of those other shows. And now this show is going to be on Netflix. We don't know if she started filming it or if it's already been filmed or it's going to be filming in a month or two months or whatever. All we know is, is that you know, because of that and the whole thing she's doing on Broadway, she's not on The Masked Singer. So fans feel like she could have done The Masked Singer. I know. It is a little upsetting. Though this show seems really cool, if you remember. So she was on The X Factor. She was, if you don't know, the reason why One Direction became One Direction. It was because of her and Simon Cowell going back and forth, figuring to put this group together and the name and this and that, that One Direction even became a thing. And so you know she's she's talented to begin with. She's a fantastic singer. That's why she's on Broadway. That's why she's done so many like Broadway live versions of shows on TV. She is honestly extremely talented, but she's also a really good producer. She could tell who's going to sound good together, who's going to gel really well, what group should be together. And that's what building the band is, which is, I feel like a play off of the old TV show, which is making the band. Was it making the band? I think it was. And so you can kind of look at this and say, well, if she's really good at making bands, then this show is perfect for her. We could potentially see the next boy band, girl band, be formed because of what, what Nicole is doing. But back to the Masked Singer. 
because I hit the comment section were ripping her to shreds, saying, so she could have done the mask singer. She chose not to, so I feel like she abandoned us. I don't believe that. When they do the mask singer and when they do the scheduling and all that stuff, there's a lot of contracts that go into it. There's a lot of back and forth of, you know, oh, hey, I'm going to do this many seasons. I signed on for this many seasons. For all we know, Rita may have signed on for two seasons and they told Nicole, hey, look, we can't afford to have you or your schedule's a little too wanky. We don't really know what's going on. So we're going to sign Rita on for another one. And Nicole may have had like, no choice about it. Maybe did have free time and Netflix approached her saying, hey, look, we might be working on a new reality TV show or singers come in and you guys kind of make a band. You've got good experience doing that with One Direction. Since you're not doing the mask Singer or anything with Fox and you have, you know, a month or two available, would you like to come in and do all this stuff? And so I guess in a way, this is me just kind of putting out a video just to say, don't be angry with Nicole. The circumstances could have been very, very different. We don't know what was behind the decision to the, do this new show or if it even had anything to do with the mask singer. It could just be that she was out of contract or Fox wouldn't renew or her schedule was messed up. There's a lot of things, once again, that could have gone into the decision of this. And I don't think that us freaking out at Nicole is the right thing to do. Though if I had my choice, here's the thing. When it comes to Rita and Nicole, I think both of them are super talented. I think both of them deserve to be on The Masked Singer. I just want the show to be good. At the end of the day, regardless of whoever is on the panel, which we do know, Robin, Jenny, and of course Ken are coming back along with Nick. So, you know, I just want the show to be entertaining. And if Nicole, if the next thing in her life would be doing Broadway, because if we've read a couple articles where after Broadway, she wants to finally have a family. So it's like, when you realize that a lot of these decisions really don't have to do with the fact that, you know, we're fans, we want to watch. It's really, you know, these people want to live their lives. And whether that is, hey, I want to do Broadway before I have kids, because I know that my obligations to my kids might take up a lot of my time. And then eventually I could go back to The Masked Singer or other steady jobs. So, you know, when you look at it like that, you really, once again, can't be angry with celebrities when they make their own decisions because they're regular people like us. She's always wanted kids. And I really think there was an article just a few days ago talking about how now she's ready. Like now that like things have, or in a place where she's done the things she wanted to do. I think the West End was one thing, but Broadway was the next big thing. And I believe that once she's done with Broadway, she'll probably take a step back for a while so she can start her family and really grow as a human. I mean, that's what she wants after a while. She's gained so much success in her career that I think now she's looking back like, okay, well, I already did all that awesome stuff. I want to finally have a family. And so that being said, I'm very happy for Nicole. She's going forward on a lot of great things. And, you know, I, I really would love to go see her on Broadway. I haven't even, I don't even think they put ticket prices up yet. I haven't even bothered to look. But if you guys are on the East Coast, if you're in the New York City area, maybe New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Delaware, even Connecticut, do you guys plan to go see her on Broadway? I would like to. I just, I would have no one to go with because my wife doesn't like uh, any kind of musical. So, that, except for Disney. We love Disney, okay? Anyway, let me know in the comment section below. And if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe, turn on notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. And if you made it to the end, I just want to say one thing. I really hope that your summer has been going great so far. Our summer has been a little bit crazy. And I figured I'll probably do a whole video kind of just detailing what my summer has been like. Because honestly, it's been insane. Like today, for example, I am so exhausted that I could, I could barely wake up today to film all the videos I had to. I think this is video number eight for the day for me. Between my TikToks, which I do about five, four, I already did five. I did one for Wildwood. I did some stuff for shorts, some things for Instagram reels. And then I've got this video. There's a lot that goes into being a creator here on any social media platform, especially when you're doing a lot of reporting like I do. Anyway, I hope you're staying safe and sound. And uh, I think we're like uh, about two, almost two months away now. That's right. Two months until... The Mask Singer Season 12. Wow, that is weird to say. So stay safe. I'll see you later. Bye. Or on ClustersPopcornWawa.com and use code SUMMER for free shipping.